to do with hitting the shot, doesn't it? Who's on you? That's right. 26 seconds to go in the first quarter. The Chicago Bulls are now down by 10. It's 35 to 25. George Johnson has called for this personal foul. Chicago is still under the limit. They have 14 fouls. Golden State has been over it for a long time as Nate Thurman goes to the line. Big Nate with a lot of style, but not quite enough on it. You know, he has a very unusual shooting style. When he gets up the top, he kind of hesitates and shoots the basketball. That's completely against most good shooting form. Get some great free throw shooters with some like Nelson on the cell. He's got that weird one. He gets it in though. Don Nelson shoots it very much like a shot put. It's all right if it works. That's right. The first quarter winding down now. 14 seconds to go in it as Butch Beard has the ball on the outside for the Golden State Warriors. They lead by nine. Goes to Keith Wilkes. Wilkes looks for Barry. Rick Barry with five seconds puts it up off the run. Barry taps it up and fouled up by Johnson and tapped in. It goes. It goes. Well, that Four shots in the closing seconds and Golden State gets it. Well, watch it again now as we come down the stretch as Barry puts up the 10-foot shot and then everybody on Golden State goes after it. Well, Barry really keeps that ball alive. Well, not once, but twice. And he hits it back up and George Johnson gets it in the basket for him. Just before the buzzer sounded. West, this is Don Cricky back at Chicago Stadium. The Golden State Warriors with a 37-26 lead at the end of the first quarter. Golden State shot 70% as a team in the first quarter, 16 to 23. Conversely, the Chicago Bulls hit only 37%. And therein lies the very obvious difference in that scoreboard. 37-26. Now Van Leer, who's had a good shooting day, hits it for the Bulls. He has 10 points. You know, you feel if Norm Van Leer can keep this up early, that Bob Love and Chet Walker are also going to start to do this. So Chicago definitely is not out of this ball game by any means. And Chicago stepping up their offensive pace as they come down running. They go to the guard. Sloan puts it up, rims the hoop. A fight for the rebound. Roland Garrett in the game got a piece of it. Now it's down to Bill Bridges, who's in for the Warriors. Up start to Rick Berry. Little Charlie Johnson breaks to the basket. Berry is intercepted by Van Leer. Norm Van Leer leads a three-on-three -three break lead pass to Jerry Sloan, and Jerry Sloan drives to the basket. And all of a sudden, Chicago has run up some points, and it's 37 to 30. That shows you what a good defensive play will be. Uh, Golden State running one way, and they can't retreat back on the good defense with that good steal. Very, very excited, enthusiastic following here in Chicago as the Bulls start to get back in, and here is Charlie Johnson. First shot he's missed. That's what that cheer was for. He was seven for seven. Van Leer throwing a touchdown pass to Roland Garrett. Too much. And the ball is back to the Warriors. If that pass would have been a better pass, Rick Barry would have intercepted it anyway. So it was not a good play by Norm. What's the key to a guy like Barry stealing the ball so much, Jerry? Well, he has great anticipation. I think he knows how to play the passing lanes real well. That seems to always help. Rick Barry still without a point. Or he has two points. That's all. 37 to 30. Chicago coming back the other way with the ball. Here is Nate Thurman in the high post looking for men spinning off. They go to Van Leer. Van Leer quickly out to Love, and we're going to have a foul call against Chicago that sends it back to Golden State. You know, you mentioned Rick Berry has only two points in this basketball game. He really has not had a good shot for himself yet. But uh, you know this man's going to score sooner or later. I have to think that he was the most valuable player in the league last year. He does so many things so well, and he is the leader of this team. Moving the ball, playing with a good, smart defense, and for this ball game too far along, he's going to be a very, very big part of it. Well, you add all the things together, he did well. He was second in scoring, 30 points a game. He was number one in free throw shooting in the league. He was number five in assists. No big man was close to him in assists. Just plays the complete game. Barry again gets through for the hook, but doesn't have enough on it. Bob Love brings it down court. Two men go to the floor hard. Bill Bridges banged up a leg as he flew over Norm Van Leer, and we'll watch that again up close. Okay, Bob Love loses the handle of the ball, and of course he can't pick it up again, and Norm Van Leer just dives in there, and they call a loose ball foul on Bill Bridges. I don't understand that one. Well, Chicago keeps the ball. They trail in the game 37 to 30. 
Van Leer goes outside to Jerry Sloan. He is matched against Jeff Mullins now in the game for the Warriors. Sloan takes it all the way down low to the baseline. Can't get the shot. And again, it's tipped out to Beard. Here comes Golden State on the run. Up court is Mullins on the left flank. They go to Barry to Mullins. And Jeff Mullins lays the ball in off the run. And Golden State has its first points of the second quarter. Well, that was a super fast by Rick Barry then. He could have taken it in for the layup. It just shows you what an unselfish player he is. Great quickness off the break by Golden State. Barry is only one for six shooting, but has played a spectacular four game. And now it is 39 to 30. Golden State is in the lead with 9.19 to play in the second quarter. And we're going to have a timeout. 9.19 to go, and Golden State holds to that lead. They've developed off a good fast break game and excellent defense. That features some of the outstanding men and women competitors in professional bowling. You'll see both events next Sunday on the CBS Sports Spectacular. We have 9.16 to play in the first half here at Chicago. Jeff Mullins picks up a loose ball for Golden State. Lead pass up court to Bill Bridges, a longtime veteran. And he walked before he went to the basket. Bill Bridges is playing in his 106th NBA playoff game. He's been around a while. That's right. Bill Bridges formerly played for the Lakers. The Lakers put him on waivers, and Golden State felt they needed a smart old veteran. They picked up Bill Bridges. He's done a good job for them. Well, Bob Love says playing against him when he's defending is like being in a street fight. He just don't let up on you. Bill is a good defensive player. Roland Garrett looks for the outside shot. Barry shuts it off. They go to Thurman, looks for the guard, cutting Bobby Wilson in the game, puts it up for Chicago. The rebound is left in the side court, and it goes back the other way to Golden State. Dick Motto, the Chicago coach, with unusually good deportment here today, hasn't been off the bench yet, I don't think. Charlie Johnson, that lightning quick guard who's been seven of eight in the field so far, hit all seven shots he took all from the outside in the first quarter. Back in the game and with the ball. Looking to go to the basket. He feeds off to Jeff Mullen up against Bobby Wilson. Mullen penetrates, gets it out to Barry. Quick pass to Bill Bridges. To Barry, a 25-foot shot. And Rick Barry, who was one for six, now two for seven from way outside. If he catches on, he can run off the spring at 10. Here's a very interesting statistic. Chicago uh, has scored only two points off their fast break. Gold Stick has scored 12, and that's basically the difference of the ball game. They have an 11-point lead, and, and it all is from running. Golden State is definitely doing what Al Adels wanted them to do. They're keeping up that fast pace when they have the ball. They're getting down quickly, not letting that Chicago defense entrench. Well, I think you can see that Golden State played great de defense themselves, and uh, Chicago hasn't got very much at all from the forward so far. They've done most of the scoring from the backcourt. Bridges gets the defensive rebound, goes up court to Charlie Johnson. He'll set it up at that Chicago defense's back. Change the direction on the dribble, and Johnson puts it up. Now he's gone off a little bit as he veered off. And Bobby Wilson brings the ball back down court on the run for Chicago. A rookie who has played some great basketball for the Bulls. Very explosive player. He ignites this team coming off the bench. To score a lot of points back. Thurman looks to go to the basket. Goes outside to Roland Garrett who hits the shot. Rick Barry was trying to double team that time. And he got caught in the middle of helping out. So consequently Garrett had a very easy shot. Barry tried to trigger. That was an intended lead pass. He thought Johnson was in the air. A Chicago player tipped the ball before it went out of bounds, so Golden State will maintain possession. Leading 41 to 32 with 7.26 to go in the first half. At the end of the first quarter, the Warriors led by nine, 37-26, still up by nine, 41-32. Mullins looks to move on Wilson, does. Wilson got a hand on the ball, but we have a foul call. Jeff Mullins, a very, very smart basketball player. Al Adels has brought him off the bench this year, and uh, Jeff has responded with a real good season. He started most of his career in the NBA. Had some real big scoring years for Golden State. Jeff Mullins was an All-American at Duke. He hits it to give it a 10-point advantage to the Golden State Warriors, 42 to 32. Now Bob Love inbounds the ball as Golden State puts on a press. A loose press, just pressuring the ball, forcing Chicago to take some extra time, bringing it up, giving them less time to work against the shot clock when they do have the ball at their end. Bob Love puts it up. Bob Love hits the shot. He now has scored nine points for the Bulls. I think you should see Chicago move the ball better inside with Jerry Sloan at a forward position. That's the first good shot that Bob Love's had in this ballgame. 
And it's again a nine point advantage for Golden State. Jeff Mullins down low, shoots over Wilson. Not enough there. Thurman tips it to Sloan to Van Leer. Chicago looking to run. Van Leer surveys what's down court. Not enough to overmatch to run a break. Now he takes it himself and brings it right through for the shot. Great change of pace dribble. Hitch in his step, then he took off for the basket. He is just so quick that you can't ever hesitate on him. And if Charlie Johnson was lulled to sleep with that hesitation dribble, and he just blew right by him for the layup. Barry way outside again and again Barry drills it two 25 foot shots here in the second quarter and again Golden State goes in front by nine. You know, the tough thing about Rick Barry his ability to not only shoot outside but go to the basket and draw fouls. Always has been a good playoff scorer. He is third behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Jerry West in career NBA playoff scoring. Then Lear puts it up rebound down to Mullins. Jeff Mullins with a letter high bounce brings the ball up court. Almost palm the ball as he looks down court for an open man. Here's a whistle from Richie Powers. And before we get the call, we're going to have a timeout signal for by the Chicago Bulls. 5.54 to go. The foul call is on Clifford Ray of Golden State. We have 5.54 left to go in the first half here in Chicago. The Golden State Warriors have led throughout. Got off to a quick step. Shot spectacularly in the first quarter. 70% as a team. Guard Charlie Johnson with 7 for 7. They led by 9 then. They continue to lead by 9. 45 to 36. Chicago and White with the ball. Van Leer who's played very well offensively with the ball. Out to Chet Walker who's back in for Chicago. Overmatch against Jeff Mullins. Walker with a height advantage puts it up. Nate Thurman takes down the offensive rebound. Out to Van Leer. In and out. Bob Love gets it another time. Bob Love puts his head down, closes his eyes, and goes up and banks it in. Well, that's one way Chicago can get back in this ball game. If they rebound well, Golden State cannot get out and run. And I'm sure that Dick Mott has expressed that to his players. Rick Barry going one-on-one -on -one against Bob Love. They're giving him a clear side. Love slapped the ball away. But Jeff Mullins picks it up. And again, they go to Barry one-on-one. -on -one. He looks for an open man, gets it to Charlie Johnson. That goes in, anything will. Falling back, he threw it up. But Van Leer has the rebound, a three-on-three -three break. Lead pass to Love against Wilkes. Rebound slapped out. Rick Barry saves the ball, looks down court. Keith Wilkes, it's a three-on-two break. And Wilkes is rejected by Nate Thurman, a clean block by the big Chicago Bull center. Okay, here's Keith Wilkes driving in for the basket. And I think in another year, he would probably lay this ball on the other side of Charlie Johnson for a real good shot. Okay, here's the way that play started. It looks very much like Barry was standing on the Alabama line. He moves his foot back in bounds. Johnson now has gone cold, has not been able to hit for the second quarter. A seven-point lead for the Golden State Warriors. Johnson seven for seven in the first quarter. He's 0 for four in the second. Seven for 11. You'll still let him play with that, won't you? That's right. Absolutely. Bob Love comes back, and now Chicago starts to get back in it as they're down by five. But Keith Wilk, ahead of the field, can't get the layup. Here comes Chicago with a chance to come within three. Well, this is a danger when you run against Chicago. If you miss, boy, they're going to come down on the other end. They're going to be patient and get a real good shot. Van Leer goes to Bob Love. They look inside. Chet Walker's trying to maneuver inside against Barry. Love puts it up. He's unbelievable. I think Al is going to have to call a timeout now. The Chicago Bulls on a streak with 3.48 left to play in the first half. They have rallied back, running off six straight points. They are now down by three. It is 45 to 42 Golden State in the lead their lead cuts to three they've led by nine much of the game and there is the vice president of sports for CBS Bob Wessler along with young Bob Wessler at like court side here at Chicago they're enjoying this ball game being from Chicago I would imagine you know Golden State has made a substitution that designed I think to solely stop Bob Love he scored eight points in this quarter and they brought Bill Bridges in who's a defensive player to try to Get him off that hot hand. Good quickness in the Golden State offense, but again, they can't hit the shot. Now Chicago comes back. They'll have a chance of coming within one. Van Leer penetrates, gets it out to Chet Walker. 
And Chester Walker, as he's done a thousand times before, gets the shot and pops it. He has nine. And Chicago is back to within one. They trailed by as many as 11 points, but now they've rallied back. They have run off a string of eight consecutive points, eight unanswered points. Bridges puts it up, basket goes, he'll shoot. Well, you knew that Golden State was going to go to Rick Barry, and they come down, they run this play. What's this great pass? That's a sensational pass, and of course, Bill Bridges, pretty good body control inside, and scores a basket. Bill Bridges goes to the free throw line, so he gets a big one for Golden State. They've not had anything for a while, and they're up by 4, 48, 44. You know, they talk about guard's ability to pass the basketball in the NBA, but I really think Rick Beery's the best passer in the league. Well, he left. He was fifth in assist, but the other four guys in front of him were all guards and handled the ball a lot more. Here is a whistle, and the ball comes back over to Golden State. Foul call on Jerry Sloan. Now Dick Mata screaming out to official Joe Gashu. But his cry goes unanswered. Here is Jeff Mullen on the drive. And there is a big shot. Five quick points. 50 to 44 as Golden State comes right back after their lead was challenged. They open up now a six-point lead. Five straight points for Golden State. The three-pointer by Bridges and that fine driving shot by Jeff Mullen. 2.25 to play in the first quarter. Here's Jerry Sloan spinning off Mullen. Nate Thurman tips it. Vic Berry fights for it. Jeff Walker gets it. He dives at it. Charlie Johnson has it. Well, Charlie Johnson figured there was no foul on Jeff Walker. Maybe there won't be any on me if I jump on it. Now that's a loose ball foul, and it's called on Charlie Johnson. There's a big scramble on the floor, and Jeff Walker recovers. And Charlie Johnson just... That does look like a tackle. <laughs> Monkey on my back. Now, it's the quorum beginning to loosen up. Dick Motter's on his feet. It's impossible for Dick Motter to sit there for a whole ball game, I think. A loose ball foul is a signal against Charlie Johnson of the Chicago Bulls, or of the Golden State Warriors. He now has two personal fouls. Three team fouls on both clubs here in the second quarter, both under the limit. It is 50-44 Warriors. Matt Gukas in the game. Looks to Van Leer. Driving on Johnson. A pick by Love. They get it over to Gukas. And Matt Gukas hits his first shot. You know, you saying enough about penetration, but I don't think you really can. Norm Van Leer there draws the crowd. Hits Matty Gukas, and he converts a relatively easy shot. Rick Barry puts up his third long shot. Hits the first two. This one comes down to Charlie Johnson. Not quite enough there. Rebound is slapped down, and Van Leer comes up with it. A two-on-three break lead. Pass to Gukas. Beautiful lead pass on the bounce. I know you're a great proponent, Jerry, of the bounce lead pass rather than throw it in the air. I always think that pass might be the best pass to make because players can run in front of it and they don't have to reach behind it all the time. Now Chicago comes back. Van Leer tries to feed off. It's tipped by Mullen, picked off by Bridges, and a tie up by Jeff Walker. Watch this spectacular pass okay, like here, by Norm Van Leer. Here's Van Leer coming down the floor, keeps the dribble. Right to Matty Gukas, and Matty goes in on the opposite side and lays the ball up. A very fine pass by Van Leer. Van Leer has scored 12 points and has played a great floor game. Van Leer has really been the key. We were mentioning Dick Motta wanted him to penetrate more, and he's certainly done that in this game in addition to scoring. But early in the ball game, Chicago was having a hard time scoring, and he kept him in the ball game with his outside shooting. Walker controls the catch to Van Leer. Game is tied. 19,000 up and screaming here at the Chicago Stadium. The last tie was at 4-4. And now with a minute to go in the first half, the Chicago Bulls have come back to tie the game at 50. Butch Beard back in, puts it up for Golden State. He goes down hard. We have a foul call that goes against Chicago. You know, Don, you notice the trend of this basketball game. Early in the ball game, Golden State was doing what they were wanting to do. Get the ball out, run, get the good percentage shot. Now you see a lot of dribbling on their offense, and you cannot dribble against Chicago and be successful. Here is Barry, matched against Love. They give him a clear side. Switching, Barry loses the ball, now picks it up with a dribble. 
loses it. And there is protesting without Joker's foot. So it goes back to Chicago, and with 35 seconds to go in the first half, the Bulls can take the lead. And here is Richie Powers with a whistle. It's going to go back to Golden State. Nate Thurman was pushing. Nate Thurman was pushing off. That's just his first personal foul. Officials keeping a real tight control on this game. Bob Love doing a great job on Rick Perry. Rick really hasn't had very many good shots at all. No, he has not. Rick Perry has not been scoring much in the game. He has six points. Here comes Chicago. Lee DeGucas all alone, and he'll take it on the payoff end of an easy break. And it's Chicago 52, Golden State 50. Boy, you have to like this Chicago team. They never quit. Barry puts it up. Not enough there. He gets his own rebound, tries to feed to Bridges. Bill Bridges looks to go to Johnson, and time ran out. And so, just before the buzzer, the Chicago Bulls take the lead for the first time. They were down by nine at the end of the first quarter. And now they leave the court to a...